Reuters, U.S. stock index futures cut their early losses by half but Wall Street was still set to open lower on Wednesday, an almost 2% gain in the previous session failing to calm the nerves following the Dow Euro trademark's biggest intraday fall on Monday. All three of Wall Street Euro trademark's main indexes 1YMC1 ESC1 and QC1 were on course for falls of between 0.2% and 0.4%, indicated by volatile pre-market futures trading. A wild session on Tuesday saw the Dow Jones Industrial Average swing more than 1,100 points from peak to trough and ended with the benchmark S&P 500 tallying its best day since just before President Donald Trump a Euro trademark S election in 2016. Traders are bracing for volatility to stay high as they try to figure out if the swings of the past two days are the start of a deeper correction or just a temporary blip in the U.S. market a Euro trademark S nine-year bull run. The pivotal gauge of S&P 500 volatility, the VIX.VIX, opened at a relatively elevated 31 points and was at 29.66. The VIX on Tuesday hit a more than two and a half year high above 50, after trading, on average, below 20 for months. A euro or at a euro trademark s over in terms of the severe down move we euro trademark ve seen but reminds us that we euro trademark re kind of in an aftershock phase a euro said rick meckler president of investment firm liberty view capital management a euro or e wait a euro trademark s happening now is you a euro trademark re getting a little bit of struggle between the short term traders who bought into the dip and are looking to get out before another sell off takes place and people who have gained some confidence that the market a euro trademark s found a bottom a euro. Markets are also on edge over US lawmakers saw euro trademark wrangling to extend the so called debt ceiling. Funding for the U.S. government runs out on February 8 unless a stopgap bill manages to pass the Senate later on Wednesday. The S&P 500 remains up 26% since Trump a Euro trademark S election, and on Tuesday clawed back into positive territory for 2018, up 0.8%. However, some investors fear the market is overstretched in the context of higher inflation and rising bond yields as central banks withdraw their easy money policies of recent years. Dallas Fed head Robert Kaplan, New York Fed President William Dudley and Chicago Fed President Charles Evans are scheduled to speak later in the day. U.S. 10-year yields rose back as high as 2.80% after approaching two-week lows around 2.65% on Tuesday U.S. 10YT equals RR. They were last trading at 2.77 on Wednesday. European shares rose around 0.7%, while Asian markets were mixed. The recent rout has wiped about $4 trillion off world equities. Among stocks, Walt Disney DISN, was up 1.9% in pre-market trading after the media company Euro Trademark's quarterly profit topped forecasts. Snapchat owner Snap SNAPN, soared 21.9% after it reported surging growth in users and revenue in its latest quarter. Chipotle Mexican Grill, CMGN, fell 7.7% after the burrito chain said the number of visitors to its restaurants fell in the fourth quarter and would continue to decline through the middle of the year.